What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. Tell me showing you guys the Arizona 11 Low, Yellow Snakeskin. Okay guys, now these officially dropped today. I was able to get these from the Hush Life Boutique in Inglewood, New Jersey. If you guys are ever in the area, make sure you guys go check them out. Now this is the shoe right here, and this is the box. It comes in this white box with the gold Jumpman on the top of the box, similar to what we see on Air Jordan 1 Lowe's and Women Exclusives normally. If it doesn't come in the red and black Air Jordan 1 box, because this is the Air Jordan 11. On the front of the box, I did go with a size 11. This is a women's exclusive, so it does come in men's sizes, and this is a 9.5 in men's. All right, the retail on this is $190. At the time of this recording, you can find a few pairs left on the sneakers app. I'll show you guys the list right here, but the bigger sizes are sold out. But let's get right into it, guys. Open up the top of the box. We don't get a stamp on the inside of the box. We do get the white and gold on the tissue paper, and the 23s being in the gold hits. All right, take out this beautiful shoe right here. And these shoes are really, really nice in person. Now, I know it is yellow. A lot of guys may not be wearing these, and this is a dope color for the ladies out there, especially for the spring and the summertime. And I wanna say that these are really, really nice. The materials on these are really, really good. I mean, other than the inside of the shoe, I see like two stitching errors basically in the same spot. But other than that, the shoe is spot on nice and it feels just like snakeskin. But let's get right into it, guys. On the bottom of the shoe here, we get this yellow translucent outsole, all right, with some white traction pads in the middle. We see the jump man down there in the middle as well. And we also get some carbon fiber on the inside of both shoes in black and silver. We get this white rubber on the outside of the midsole and on the inside of the midsole. Coming up towards the base of the shoe, you get the snakeskin leather all the way around the shoe on the bottom portion of the shoe. And when you rub on this material, it really does feel like snakeskin. If you guys have ever felt a snake, when you get these in hand, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So it has like a patent leather on majority of it, but in between where you see the bumps and the risen up material, it has that suede there to make it give it that texture and feel like a snakeskin material. So that's really, really nice. I'll show you guys some up close looks on what I'm talking about. So like from far away, you can't see that it really has suede on it, but in between where you see those risen up bumps on the shoe, it does have like a suede, nappy suede material on there. Pretty dope in my opinion. And these really do feel like snakeskin leather. All right. What do you guys think about these? This is the outside of the shoe right here. Looking up a little bit higher than where the snakeskin detailing is. It does come in this white tumble leather, which is really, really nice and clean. Okay, same thing on the inside of the shoe here. Really, really dope shoes. What do you guys think about these? Is a copper drop. I know this might not be an everyday shoe for the fellas out there, but you could definitely rock these once or twice. You know what I mean? And definitely have a nice outfit with them on. Um, I, I think these are really, really clean. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments box below. Coming towards the toe box here, you won't need any wearable shoe trees in these, in my opinion, but you can put them in if you want to. Won't be easy to crease, in my opinion. But if you guys want some crease piece protection, you can use my code YDavis. You'll get five bucks off. Looking at the mud guard here, we see that translucent yellow also creeping up from the bottom of the shoe. Now, we do only get one pair of laces in these, and they come with the white laces. It would have been dope to see them come with yellow laces, but you know, it is what it is. Before we actually get on to the tongue here, we do get some more white leather below that and then we get this white leather tongue on the middle of the tongue it says jordan with the jumpman logo in the middle all right really nice clean really good materials i really do like the leather on the shoe is really really premium towards the inside of the tongue here it says quality basketball products inspired by the greatest player ever show you guys that in white yellow and black you get some tissue inserts on these on the sock lining of the shoe it isn't white the production dates on this is 10 26 22 to 01 11 23 Give you guys a quick look at that this shoe also does come with elastic band tongues so your shoe and foot will stay locked in make sure you guys stay throughout the whole sizing tips i will be going a little bit more into detail the inserts on these is in white and we get the good insole on these it's not as thick as the 85 insole but i showed you guys yesterday on this shoe right here but we still do get some really good insoles on these shoes pretty dope okay show you guys the back of it as well Underneath that, it does come in like a grayish color and we see some white stitching. Coming towards the back of the shoes, it says 23 at the top in white and yellow. Under that, we get the Jumpman logo in yellow. The background of that comes in like a tumble leather and then it goes down to the snake skin in that yellow colorway. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys my footers in the toe box right now. Okay guys, so this is what they look like on feet. Pretty clean in my opinion. Now I'm a true size nine, let me get nine and a half in on my shoes. I did go up half a size on these and I will say that they feel amazing. Now I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in a toe box, but first I'm gonna scrunch on my toes to show you guys that I do have a good amount of space in these. And I have one unlaced and one laced up. This is normally how I like to wear my shoes. And I don't really have that much slippage on these and these do have an elastic band tongue on the inside. Um, tongue on these, as you guys can see right there. So. 
you know your foot will stay locked in if you guys are trying to wear them like this but i'm gonna show you guys my foot is in a toe box so here it is right here this is my big toe all right i do have a good amount of space and as you guys see when i'm pushing down on this see this material won't really crease up on you so once again you won't really need that um where we shoot trees in these but i don't really feel this material on the outside as you guys see when i'm pushing down i have a lot of room for error there same thing on the inside i have a lot of room for error so if you want this type of fit definitely go up half a size this is a true size fitting shoe but if you want them but if you want a better wearing experience or have a wider foot definitely go up half a size try to try these on in store if you have the possibility to do so um but yeah these are really comfortable on feet especially with these insoles and i'm gonna show you guys what these look like with some different pants options right now Okay, guys, so I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love, and stay tuned.